In this short video, we will show you some of the key features of the app prototype that has been co-designed with parent, carers, service staff and young people in the region. This is an early prototype. Colours will be added later. The child or young person using the app will have a profile page where they can add important information about themselves. This includes a picture of their choosing, what they like to be called and their preferred pronouns. On this page, they can also share things that they would like other people to know. This might be conditions or other things that are important to them, including interests. This is left open for the user to decide what they want to share, and is intended not to be too medical in its focus. More information can also be included to describe what this means for the individual. For example, if the user wanted to share that they have autism, they could include some information about how that impacts them, if they would like to. Here, the child or young person can update their status with an emoji and or some text. This is also optional. It is included to allow the user to share things that are going on for them at a particular time or day. The key feature of the app is the ability for the child or young person to build up a set of helpful change cards that they can then share with people they are interacting with. Within the app, the user can select different situations from a list. Here we are using the example of a dentist but you will see that this could range from medical professionals in more formal settings through to informal settings like meeting new friends. The child or young person can add their own helpful changes in their own words or select some suggested changes from a library in the app. For each situation, they will decide what to share. If the user decides to share this information, with the dentist in this case, they can bring up this screen on their phone. It provides the helpful changes relevant to the situation, along with some of the key information from the profile page. The intention is that the child, young person or their carer could then show this screen directly to the dentist or other staff. They could also select Read Aloud for an audio version of the information. Sharing the phone screen in this way may not always be appropriate. Therefore, we would anticipate the user being able to share this screen in other ways using the usual sharing options from their device. Here is an example of how this might look. One option we have explored is the functionality to email the information to the person or service ahead of time. Here is an example email generated from the information in the app. The user could share this if they knew the email address of the person they were meeting. It includes similar information to the share screen, along with details of the individual and their appointment. Other features within the app include the possibility to store information about appointments and services. An example of how this might look is shown here. Users would also be able to plan for appointments or meetings and make a note of things to ask or say, along with other notes on this planning page.